Hello again everybody, Jeff Roberts here with The Legal Minute, continuing with our Social Security Disability discussion. Uh, so now you have applied and you've been denied and Social Security Administration has sent you a letter saying we've denied your application and they will have an explanation letter that comes with the denial that, that tells you all of the doctors and hospital records that they considered whenever they denied your claim. Okay, so now you've got 60 days to file the request for reconsideration. It's another form that you can fill out or print off from the Social Security Administration's website. You've got 60 days. If you, if you let that 60 days pass, then you've given up on that alleged onset of injury date being the one that you consider to be the disabling factor. That's important. Let me explain why. I'll explain why later. But now you've got the request for reconsideration filed and you've continued to go to your doctors and you disclose two new doctors or two new health care providers that you didn't have at the time you filed the application. What happens when you get denied after filing the request for reconsideration? Now this is where an attorney comes in to help you because now if they, if they consider the new information and deny it again, your next step is to ask for a hearing in front of an administrative law judge. We're getting to talking about how an attorney can help you from this point forward. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Until next time, remember, stay safe and stay informed.